In day two of our ICC procedure, we will add our secondary antibody, perform an optional double labeling and nuclear labeling step, mount our cover slips to slides, and obtain images of our antibodies with a fluorescent microscope. First, we aspirate off primary antibody solution, followed by washing the cells three times with PBST for five minutes each. Next, prepare the fluorophore conjugated secondary antibody, which will bind to the primary antibody. Dilute the secondary and blocking buffer at the recommended dilution specified on the data sheet and incubate at room temperature for one hour. Covering the plates with foil prevents sensitive dyes from degrading. Aspirate off the secondary antibody solution, followed by washing of the cells three times with PBST for five minutes each. As an optional step, a separate primary and secondary antibody pair can be used to visualize a second epitope by using a different fluorophore. In addition, DNA binding dyes such as DAPI can be applied without the need for secondary antibodies. Refer to the full written Novus protocol for instructions on how to double and triple label. Cover slips are now ready to be mounted onto microscope slides. Take a clean slide and dispense one drop of anti-fade mounting medium by slowly dialing down the plunger of the pipette. Carefully remove a cover slip from the well, allow excess wash to drip off, and place the cells face down onto the slide. Clear fingernail polish can be used to seal the cover slip and prevent it from drying out. Slides can now be visualized under a microscope or stored at minus 20 or 4 degrees Celsius in a dark slide box or slide bug. Limiting the amount of time each slide is exposed to the microscope's light will aid in prolonging the fluorescent signal and prevent photo bleaching.